On this Valentine's Day, I would like to recognize my mom for always being there for me and supporting me with the supplies that I need. On this Valentine's Day, I want to um, shout out to my aunt for being there for me and putting roof over my head. On this Valentine's Day, I would like to recognize my mom for giving me a home and loving me. For this Valentine's Day, I want to shout out my mom for being there for me for my whole entire life. Hello everybody. My shout goes out for Valentine's Day to all the mothers that work hard to do what they can for their kids in their home. So happy Valentine's to all y'all mothers. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day. There it is. I want to give a shout out to Isaac. Uh, he's amazing. I love how he's always giving kids high fives and handshakes um, in the lunch line when they come into the cafeteria. He's just uh, a great human being. This Valentine's, I want to give a shout out to my wife uh, and my uh, baby boy Owen. Uh, this is my first Valentine's Day with him, so I want to shout out my wife, my beautiful wife. Uh, I love you, and to my son, I love you too. I want to give a shout out to my mom. She's always there for me. I want to shout out Mrs. Gama's sixth grade class for always making me feel welcome when I come and sub for you. You guys are awesome and you're always following the Eagle way, so keep up the good work. Hi, my name is Brianna and today's PBAIS is on sportsmanship. Sportsmanship is when your attitude is good and when you play a sport, whether you win or lose. Here's what you should do. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Good game, good game, good game. This is what you should not do. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Alright, well, there's one for you. One, one. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Two. Oh. Dude, you beat me twice. You cheated. You all you did was you, you totally cheated. You you keep winning. Wait, wait, he's Video production is where we make videos for Home Gardens Academy and usually the process of making those videos are brainstorming. Uh, what we do in brainstorming is we get ideas, we bounce each other ideas from one to one to figure out what we're going to do for the Eagle Report. So we usually brainstorm and if we do get, um, if we do get more done in the day then after brainstorming is storyboarding and storyboarding is where we just plan out what we're going to do with the video and let's say my video was the announcement um, we would just script what we were going to say um, after storyboarding it's usually filming and we're going to film everything in that day so we try to get um, most of the things done in three days so we don't have to complete um we're not complete well we cannot feel stressed out during the whole process and once we're done we um once we're done filming we do editing and editing it it was a whole new different thing for us to do because um it it can be like five minutes of editing. It can be um, mostly 20. And whenever we edit, we have to um, create the concept of not making it look like bad. So we can like make it look decent enough for them to enjoy. So after editing, we usually give it to Mr. Garwood and Mr. Garwood would collect all the videos that all the video production classes do and put them together and edit him, edit it himself so all our videos can match up and you have an Eagle report. Hi, I'm Ralph Schiavone. I'm one of the first dads here at Home Gardens Academy. We're happy to welcome Eminence Barber Academy today. They're here with us giving free haircuts to our boys. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Augustine, uh, part of uh, one of the instructors with Eminence Barber Academy. Today we're giving back uh, to the community, city of Corona, uh, giving the free haircuts to anybody in the school itself. We're at Eminence Barber Academy and we're here to empower Home Gardens Academy. Haircuts are very special to boys, particularly young boys. 
It's an opportunity for them to express themselves. It's an opportunity for them to be pampered a little bit. When you're done with a haircut, you feel good. I think with Eminence, I think it gives their students an opportunity to reinvest in the community. I think it shows our students that not only the parents and faculty at Home Gardens Academy support them, but that there's professionals out in the city that care about their well-being and that they're happy to invest in their time and their services, in this case, giving them a haircut. You know, personally coming up from a home where like money wasn't always there and stuff like that, like anything that could boost your self-esteem is good in this you know community. So if a haircut can make a kid feel good, like walking down the street or just make him feel good within his classmates, like, I, it's that's that's a simple that's as simple as it gets you know what I mean like giving somebody else something to feel better and at the same time I'm becoming a better barber so it's a win-win for everybody what are you gonna do today I have a haircut are you excited yeah well I hope it means to them as much as it does to us we, we really do take pride in coming out you know and being able to serve the communities in which we serve it's really cool, you know, for you guys to have us here and, you know, give us this opportunity. You know, we really do enjoy giving back to the community and being here for us, it means a lot. No, slippery feet! How could this happen to you, my friend? Here at HGA, we'll find several of these red and green monsters. Use them to recycle only bottles and cans. Please do not throw any trash in these or blue trash cans, which are also used for recycling bottles and cans. So help me and these fellow monsters to rid the world of ocean pollution and help save tragic deaths like slippery fish here. It's okay, Jared. It's okay. So, what's your favorite sport? Um, kickball? Gymnastics, because I like to do flips. Soccer, because I'm, I'm always fussing to my brother and and have lots of friends and, I could, and I'm friendly to my my um, partners. Basketball, because um, it's challenging. My favorite sport is soccer. Kicking the ball? Football because um, it's very active. My favorite sport is soccer because it gets me energized. My favorite sport has to be football. Now, I, I like soccer, but I'm talking about American football. It's just a sport I grew up loving. I played it in high school. Um, I love the fact that it's just a team effort. You got a line linemen that protect the quarterback. The quarterback needs someone to throw to. It's just a huge team effort, and I'm really big on team effort because you know what they say, teamwork makes the dream work. I like football because I enjoy watching it. Um, for a sport I like playing would be basketball. My favorite sport is karate wind chain because it teaches you how to have discipline, not to get mad, how to control your anger, how to handle things that comes up in life. So that's my favorite sport. My favorite sport definitely has to be baseball. I played softball in high school. Um, I helped my sister when she played softball and it's just something that we always play in our family and I enjoy doing it. If I could say dance, I would say dance, but I'm not sure if it, people consider that a sport, but if it is, dance. My favorite sport is basketball because it's challenging and I like making hoops. Hi HGA, my name is Gabby and today I will be interviewing Mr. Yim, the 7th grade math teacher. So, why did you want to become a teacher? I wanted to become a teacher because there's a lot of teachers in my uh, past that really helped me out and they really guided me through a lot of uh, situations and so I wanted to be able to give back to those students just like my teachers give back to me. Okay, and if you could teach any grade and any subject, what would it be? Uh, I would actually want to teach math, but if I did not, it would be probably a technology class or um, any financial class. Uh, just because that's what I uh, went to college for, and so it's just something I'm really passionate about. Okay. Um, what do you like about HTA? I really like the people, the community, uh, the students. They come from a unique background. Uh, I know I can relate to a little bit, so it just really 
the students are what brings me back and wants me to come, uh, what helps me come back every single day. Okay, and what are some of your hobbies? Some of my hobbies, uh, probably cooking, uh, sports, and uh, taking care of my family. Those are my top three. Okay, and what can students students expect when they come into middle school for the first time? Uh, the biggest thing is that uh, middle school goes by real fast. Uh, we have seven different teachers that you're going to be going in and out of classes to every single day. So you got to be fast, you got to be prepared, and know that middle school goes real fast. Next thing you know, you, you walk in seventh grade first day, and next thing you know, you're an eighth grader. So just prepared and really enjoy yourself while you're in middle school. We asked some students, what's heavier, a dozen pounds of bricks or a thousand pounds of feathers? Here's what they said. I gotta say bricks. The bricks are heavier? Uh, I'd rather carry both because they're both the same since they're both each a thousand, even though one's gonna be like weird to carry because it's not gonna be a big sack instead of the other one. Bricks. A thousand pounds of brick. The same because it, the weight is the same because it's a thousand pounds of feathers and everything. the real answer is both because a thousand pounds equals a thousand pounds tell me what yeah you want to hear a joke yeah how did the phone propose to his girlfriend on valentine's day i don't know how with a ring What did the flame say to his buddies after he fell in love? I don't know. What? I found a perfect match. <laughs> hey, dude. Yeah? You wanna hear a joke? Yeah. Where did the hamburger take his girlfriend on Valentine's Day? I don't know where. To a meatball. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kimberly and here is your joke of the week. Why didn't the Nellis want to go to school? Why? because he was tired of getting picked on. <laughs> that is your joke of the week. Bye! <laughs> what did the boy cat say to the girl cat on Valentine's Day? What? You look perfect. <laughs> <laughs> hey Natalie, you wanna hear a riddle? Sure. What did the hamburger buy his sweetheart? What? An onion ring. <laughs> <laughs> this is Salty Kim and we are out of here. Woo!